For now, though, let's start with the EFF celebrations. They're celebrating their ninth birthday at the Dr. Mulemela Stadium in Mangawu in the Free State. The party says it expects at least 22,000 people to attend today's event. Buses have begun arriving at the venue as schools make their way inside the stadium. Newsroom Africa's Bilane Pakhadi is standing by to talk us through some of the most notable gains for the party in the past few years. Bilani. Definitely, Didi. I can tell you that over the last uh, nine years of existence of the political party, the EFF, they have been very much un uncompromising as they came to the uh, seven cardinal pillars. And the land expropriation without compensation has been one. It's, it's not really by mistake that it is their first one up on the list because they've been making a lot of noise as far as the, the parliament is concerned, as well as the, the, the members of the provincial legislatures, making sure that they also uh, are heard in those regards. They also now talk about the nationalizations of the banks and uh, as well as the mines, so that there could be some economic movement and the people who never used to, to come through and benefit from those kind of, uh, of, 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 of industries, they could also be able to, to benefit. And I think the third, even though there are about seven of them, but uh, one of them that have been, they've been talking about quite a lot is the issue of building national capacity as far as the, the government is concerned. And they've been talking about doing away with the tendering system. The, that is one thing that I've been talking about for quite some time, and I know that the municipalities have been going out hard on it to say that uh, there is uh, there's a need to insource uh, the general workers at those municipalities and as well as a uh, deal with the issues around uh, tenderings that it should go away. We were, speak we were supposed to speak to the SG but because I think it's still uh, busy uh, we're going to speak to the spokesperson uh, that is seen now. Tamu, thank you very much for joining us here as uh, now. Let's just bring in about the issues now about your cardinal pillars three of them uh, that I was just mentioning now but as far as success is concerned do you feel that in the nine years that you've been uh, in existence you've been able to succeed? No, absolutely. I mean uh, the SG is actually here mm -hmm. uh, he'll be able to give a much Broader and clearer perspective in terms of uh, how far we've gone yeah. with the cardinal pillars of the EFF. SG. Okay. Let me bring in the, the SG, that, that of course, uh, Masha, I mean, thank you for joining us. I understand you're a bit busy. You can just go back a little bit so that you're not too, too, too far as far as the camera is concerned. Uh, we're just talking about the cardinal pillars, and we, I just mentioned the three, the first three on your list there about nationalization, the building nation capacity, and as well as the exploration of land without compensation. But in the nine years, do you feel that there has been a success as far as dealing with trying to claw back uh, and uh, achieve those goals that are mentioned in the criminal pillars? Look, we've, we've made some successes. Remember, we are a, a party in parliament. So what, or some of those cardinal pillars, like the, uh, the, uh, the first cardinal pillar, which is the expropriation of land without compensation, we went as far as parliament, we got the whole nation uh, speaking, we got the whole nation participating mm -hmm. uh, uh, in parliament when our motion was... Uh, uh, agreed by parliament and then we had to go into public consultation where the whole nation participated and uh, and, and, in, and in big numbers on all provinces they agreed that uh, the the policy of the EFF uh, the cardinal pillar number one it, it is the right direction when we went to parliament and uh, the whole country knew what the ANC did unfortunately we we, we have committed ourselves to the, to the laws of this country uh, and the constitution that uh, some of uh, the issues they have to be go and be passed in parliament with our numbers. So we are happy that at least the, the cardinal pillar number one, the whole nation participated and the nation, they agreed. That's why we are confident that they will never make that uh, mistake uh, come 2024 because now we have put it clearly and uh, exposed everyone in South Africa who is the party that is, up, is against uh, that land must go to the rightful owners, which are the black people of this country. So we have had, uh, we have had successes. Yeah. We have had uh, successes in, term, in, in, the, in, in, the, in the municipalities where we push for uh, abolishment of tenders uh, and, and then we go for insourcing in the security uh, in Johannesburg, in Swane, where we found uh, securities we were working and uh, uh, tender people, contractors, where they were shortchanging them in terms of salary. And we managed to push those motions, even in Nelson Mandela, where we now we've got those security guards uh, working permanently under the municipality with decent salaries, medical aids and pensions. Definitely. Now, let's talk, talk to us about the membership. Yourself, on numerous occasions, even when you were in KZN, you were boasting about the fact that you are the only party that seems to be growing on each and every single elections uh, and, and by elections in that regard. Your road towards one million membership in the, last, in the last nine years, do you feel that in this year 
in particular, you'll be able to succeed to reach that particular goal? We're definitely succeeding. We're definitely succeeding. We are end of July now, which is, uh, which is half year. We're already sitting at over uh, 680,000. Uh, membership verified, registered to vote, not just collecting of numbers, physical membership that uh, we want to do, membership verification at uh, each and every branch, because now we're no longer collecting forms. When we get membership, one, we must make sure that this is a person can be confirmed by home affairs that this person is still alive. Secondly, we go and verify you with uh, IEC that you are a person who's registered because that is what the constitution of the EFF saying that to be a member, full member of the EFF, you must be above uh, 16, you must be registered to vote uh, and, and all those that, uh, that we have checked. So we know that uh, as things turn now, we are sitting at uh, close to 680,000 solid battalion. The, the structures are on the ground. And I can tell you now that by end of November, we're closing that because the commander-in-chief, uh, mid-December, uh, mid, uh, is going to be uh, giving a report to, to the whole country because we're an organization that accounts to society. When we called and we announced to the whole country in, uh, in Hector Peterson Square that uh, we're going to go for one million membership by end of December, we're going to go and give that report to society. Definitely, that's the Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters, and that is Marshal Adamin. Of course, yeah, 680 uh, verified people, as far as we are concerned, uh, there are members of the Economic Freedom Fighters, and they say that uh, they are currently moving towards that 1 million mark, and in mid-November, they'll be coming back to put as far as uh, how far they've gone in reaching that milestone. But for now, we do expect that um, people are still continuing to trickle in here at the Dr. Mulemela Stadium, and they're going to be continuing to do so, and we, the party expecting at least 22 thousand people to be part of the celebrations here and at 12 o'clock the commander in chief uh, the commander in chief rather of the economic freedom fighters uh, Julius Selamalema will give that keynote address Pilani Pahadi at the Dr. Molimela Stadium in Mangawung. That's in the free state for us. Thank you very much. As we see uh, the stadium filling up nicely there, we look forward to hearing uh, what Julius Malema will have to tell his supporters in looking back at how far the party has come 